how it came in Reynolds. So it has cooled down. It must be those Canadian beekeepers sending us a little bit of that chill they're getting up there. We're in the 50s. It's gonna drop down into the 30s tonight. So it felt like a good time to talk about the polystyrene hive. It insulates your bees eight times more than your average three quarter inch box. And why is that important? Well, it's just like your house. When you have insulated windows, insulated doors, a lot of insulation in your walls and your roof, it is going to make a huge difference on your energy bill. So it stands to reason that it's gonna help the bees with their energy bill. And their energy bill comes from nectar and honey. And going through the winter, especially in cold areas, it can make a huge difference. But I also would like to see, this is my first time trying these, if it's going to help us in our summers. We have a pretty brutal summer, very humid, not a whole lot of natural nectar and pollen, but the bees are still having to live off of what they made in spring. And it takes a lot of energy to cool the hive down. They've got to expend so much energy bringing in that water, fanning it with their wings. And if it takes a lot less work with this to keep the hive and the brood cooled down to where they won't overheat, then that could really save the bees a lot of energy and help them maybe even live a little bit longer or just consume less honey. This is just stuff that we need to learn, but eight times more insulative properties right here. This is made in Finland and I got this set from Blue Sky Bee Supply. Um, they're made a lot tougher than you think. You know, this is not like your normal styrofoam. You can, if you got, I bet you if you had a piece that was about double this thick, you might be able to knock somebody out with it. We could do a test on that video later when Laurel gets upset at me. <laughs> it might not be that far removed. All right, so I've already put some glue down in there. They recommend Type Bond 3 or other types of glue. All I had is Type Bond 2. So we're gonna see over the long haul if Type Bond 2 does a good job on gluing these together. It's very simple. The main thing is whenever you're putting this together is you want the words going up all the way around the box. Not that hard. And then towards the end of this video, I'm gonna show you how to put your frame rest on because that's a, a totally separate piece. So you want a flat section to do this on. I've got my uh, pallets of nuke boxes here for just for easy nukes. So you can kind of push it in to a degree. But once it gets kind of to that point, what I do, well, what I did with the other boxes anyways, my vast experience of making three of these so far, is uh, let's take this glue right here and I'm just gonna you know, put some glue at the bottom. I'm gonna try to get a little bit on the side walls, just a little bit. It's a very tight fit. And once we paint it, that'll probably help just a little bit. Let me get some glue down in there. All right. Now I just really am interested to see how well they work. Now again, you gotta make sure that the, the wording is going the right direction. All right, now the trick is not drip, getting this on quick enough, you don't have to drip any out. All right, there's one side, and I got a little bit, there we go. Now, this is where you're going to want something hard that's going to give a little bit of resistance at the bottom, and then we're going to have a sacrificial piece of wood here, and I want to turn the volume down just a second, but we're going to use this to pound it in. That way we don't damage our box with a hammer. Just about got it. All right, that's one in. That also helped push in that bottom one a little bit. Yeah. And we're just going to basically do the same thing to this side. All right. Don't have to worry about this rotting or anything like that. That's the main thing here in Tennessee is everything rots. Lots of moisture, lots of bacteria and fungi in our soils. All right, so that's pretty well put together. That'll set up over time. We're gonna go ahead and paint this and then we're going to put the, the clips on the top and I'm gonna get the little goobers to start working on painting this. We'll see you in a bit. And we're back. And we've done some boneheaded things. I say we pretty loosely because it was me. And Laurel's like, <laughs> please tell me you didn't glue those without reading the instructions. I read the instructions a while ago, but it's been a long time and I forgot. I've been busy and you can see we've lost most of our daylight, but we've had a lot of other things going on today. The kids did help paint these boxes and a lot of you guys are like, woohoo, nice Easter collar there. Well, I'm telling you, by the way, if you don't know, you can go to Lowe's or other places that sell paint and a lot of times you can find seconds paint that someone got, they test it out and they're like, ugh, 
I don't like that at all. They take it back and you get it for a fraction of the cost. I was able to get this paint for a song and sometimes they have rebates and you end up getting paid to use the paint. Awesome. Anyways, so what I did wrong is you're supposed to slide these on to the boxes, to the fronts and the backboards before you glue them. Well, too late now, right? So we've taken boiling water and warmed them up so that they'll be able to go on the bottom. Laurel and I were able to get the other ones on. I don't know if I can get this one by myself. But you definitely want to put two coats of paint on these. And we're going to see if I can get this on by myself. Uh, okay. So, this is supposed to, you know, just slide right on there, easy like that. But we don't do anything easy around here because where's the fun in that? All right, so we're going to, the water's cooled down quite a bit. Oh yeah, that's totally the way that you're supposed to do it right there. Don't do that. <laughs> All right. Oh, there, now it's in. That's the bottom piece. Now we have to put in the frame rest side. Now again, we did two coats of paint. We used Type Bond to wood glue, and they recommend wood glues, and there's other things out there. There's a lot of opinions out there. However, the, the thing was a really tight fit, just like these things are, oh my goodness. All right, Laurel, so it goes over like this. Yeah, just like that. So you're typically going to just slide it like this and that's going to work good we'll be showing you the rest of the hive the lids and bottom boards and everything i'm going to stick them on a, a hive that already has a lot of bees sometime here in the next week or two and all that kind of stuff and i'd like to say again thanks um, to blue sky bee supply for supplying this for us to try out and for our viewers to be able to see how it works for us now some people are like this these things are the best things in the world and there's some people that are like I have to bring it over here so I can see what I'm doing. And some people are like, ah, it's just a fad or whatever. You know, if you have healthy bees, they'll survive in a tire. So, that's the number one thing. Laurel, I'm gonna need some help on this one. Let's cool down a little bit. Warm up. Stop grinning at me over there. <laughs> hey, uh, this could have been so much easier. Hi, and welcome back to another embarrassing episode of Tennessee's Bees Beekeeping Life, whatever, hashtag embarrassing, all that stuff. So this is not the way that it's supposed to be done or recommend. I don't even know how hardly to do a hashtag, but anyways, I'm trying to be cool and hip and all that stuff. You can tell by my expensive clothes and these pants that I've worn for the last five years, pretty much working outside. I got like five or six sets of those, so it's not the same ones. All right, so we have heated this up in boiling water. This is not the way that you're supposed to do this. I'm interested to try this out because many people, I actually know some people in Tennessee, this is a lot more flexible now, that say that this will not last. We'll see about that. Ah, come on now. Yeah, yeah, get in there. You're mine. Oh, I didn't get that corner in at all. Where is that? Just, you know, pause or whatever. Get in there. Ah, yes. And this is not the way to assemble one of these things. All right. Once the frames get in here, it'll help weight that down the rest of the way. Wow, we just took something that should have been seconds and turned it into many minutes. And it's dark. Let's go inside. Let's eat dinner. If you have any more questions about polystyrene boxes, leave them below. <laughs>